Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from Devdectic and the Ionic Academy. Today we will see how to um, add email attachments, for example, images to our Ionic app and send out those emails. So I've already started a blank new Ionic app, nothing special so far. And we can directly go ahead and add, first of all, the Cordova plugin for email. And what we also need is the Cordova plugin for camera uh, because we want to capture an image and then attach that image to our email. So add those two Cordova plugins and then go ahead and install the email composer and the camera from Ionic Native. Um, I recently had some problems with Ionic Native so for some reasons there are problems and that's why I'm also installing the latest core package of uh, Ionic Native just to make sure everything's working. Okay, good. So once we are done, we can go to our app module and import the camera and also the email composer. And we have to import both, of course, as well up here. So camera, uh, which is from Ionic Native Camera. And the second one, the email composer, which is uh, also from at Ionic Native Email Composer. Okay, fine. So we got this, we got this inside our providers and we can go to our page and implement a very simple UI so let's call it emails plus images. Let's see, our app is still loading, that's a good sign. So what we need uh, are two buttons. Uh, one button will capture an image and the second one will allow us to send out the email. So first is capture image, uh, capture image. And the second one is here to send email send email all right um, below uh, our two buttons we put a simple ion card uh, let's give it a header um, and this will display our current image inside the ion card content oh uh, there's a typo yes like this so our image will be inside a variable in our class and we will call it current image. And we also only want to display it if it's actually set. So otherwise we would have a nasty um, yeah, dummy image that the image is missing or null or whatever. So this is what it looks like right now. And we go to our home class and add our two functions. Car capture image and send email fine okay now we actually get to the funny stuff so we need to import um, the camera because of course we need it and we also need the email composer so where is it up here okay now we got it um, in our example, we will simply capture um, the uh, image from the photo library. It's uh, quite easy and we can run it on the simulator if we want to or yeah, whatever. You can specify uh, what you like. So take this dot camera dot picture source type and then select camera or photo library, whatever you like. Um, Perhaps I will just go with the photo library and then we also set the uh, destination type and you would get auto completion here I think if you import the camera um, options up here. Um, this is also in the camera package and now you can see that you directly get uh, the properties we can use here. So use this dot camera destination type and we will use file URI because this will return us um, URL to the file on the system 
And this is exactly what we need. So then we can go ahead and actually get our picture. We pass in the options and then we should get some image data back. And now we can use uh, this data for our current image, which is in the beginning null, and set our current image simply to the image data. You can also, of course, catch an error. So whatever you like, uh, print out an error, just what you like, uh, like this. Okay, so this will capture our image and then set it to our variables so it will actually be displayed. Now we're going to uh, create our email first. Inside the email you can specify all kinds of things. Um, the most important might be uh, the to, so where do you want to send it to. Of course you can only, uh, also open a completely blank email. Uh, let's add some stuff here uh, like this and then the most important part in this tutorial of course is the attachment and this is an array of files in our case uh, we use our current image and this is enough for the uh, email composer to get the uh, right image you can also specify a subject my cool image or whatever and perhaps a body so there are all kinds of things and inside the body you can even use uh, html tags if you like to in that case simply put is html to true okay so this is our email object and the only thing we need now is to use our email composer and call open. You could also uh, check if it's available actually before using open. Um, but for this example, I will just assume that it's there and we will run it on a device in a second. Um, the problem now is, well, it's not a problem, but uh, we can't use our native Cordova functionalities inside the browser. So make sure that you now build your app for iOS or Android and deploy it to the device. And we will uh, check out how it looks on the device now. All right, so I've deployed the app to my iPhone. And now if I go ahead and click capture image, first of all, okay, in German, but it would like to access my photos. I type okay, uh, I select one image and the image is displayed inside our card. And if I now tap send email, the email composer will go up with the to email uh, and my CC, um, the subject, our body, and the actual image at the bottom. So um, you're now ready to send out your image as an attachment. And of course, you could add more uh, images or files like you want. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you like it, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you want more training courses, um, also make sure to check out the Ionic Academy, which is ionicacademy.com. And I will see you inside the next video.